So we're driving, we were on 675, then we ended up on 678. Where is that exactly? Well, do you remember those videos I made about Massanutten and trying to find the road across Massanutten that really doesn't exist? Well, this is the closest thing. It's 678 and it goes through the valley of the Massanutten Mountains. And I'm not even exactly sure they're called the Massanutten Mountains. I mean, usually when people say Massanutten, they're referring to the ski resort. But anyway, 678 goes through the valley here and to the right, we, because we're going north, and to the right we have a wall of mountains, and then to the left we have a wall of mountains. But here's the thing, the Skyline Drive, the mountains that we're normally driving on, they're actually across the ridge line to our right, and it's a whole other mountain chain, which is why Massanutten is so unique and why this whole valley is so unique, because it's sort of like this little separate mountain chain in the middle of the mountains. not the most perfect day to be running around in the mountains whether the roads are paved or dirt I mean it's about 37 38 degrees depending on our elevation so it's not cold enough to snow but it's drizzly rainy and it's very very foggy however what we've done is we basically we're taking a huge loop and the loop started out with 675 and then it goes from 675 to 678 and of course now we're on 619 if I'm not mistaken and basically making a loop all the way in onto the skyline bypassing Front Royal. Am I saying that right? Is it Front Royal? Yes, Front Royal. Front Royal is a town that where the Skyline Drive actually starts to the north. So the Skyline Drive is closed and it's been closed for 11 days and I'll just reserve my comments for some other video because it probably should be open right now, but that's just my opinion, it's just my opinion. It, but I, I think it's a good opinion. Anyway, we've decided to take some of these back roads that are around the Skyline Drive, which one of these roads is the 622, now it dead ends, but man, this get, there's some gorgeous views back here and some beautiful homes. I don't wanna film the homes because I don't have their permission, but just take my word for it. Beautiful homes, old homes, 200, 250 year old homes back here, and it's really cool. Now, the road has turned from pavement to gravel, which is even better, and it's a no outlet road, but I think we're gonna get some great shots of the mountains. And the mountains that you're looking at, those are the same mountains that when we're on the Skyline Drive, that's where we're at, is up on top of these mountains, so it's really pretty. Now you guys know, if you've watched any of our videos, that I love back roads like this, even though this one doesn't have an outlet, but I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. One of the things that I'm noticing out here though, is that you can't tell what's really old or what's just built to look old. For instance, the rock wall that's behind me, I mean, has it been here a long time or was it just put up to look like it's been here a long time? So you have a lot of art imitating life, imitating art kind of stuff. But you know, like anything else, roads like this are beautiful all year. Round. Now, of course, today's kind of a drizzly day and it's it's chilly. I wouldn't say that it's cold. I mean, I'm outside and I'm surviving just fine. It's about 39 degrees and for this part of Virginia, that's just not that cold. And there's still some snow on the side of the roads, but it's clearing up pretty good. And this time of year, you never know if you're in for another blizzard or not. You know what I'm saying? But I'll tell you, it's absolutely beautiful up here. We're trying to get some beautiful shots like of the mountains while we're up here, you know, but the fog is really making that difficult to do. Skyline Drive really does need to be open. I'm just saying.
you know, come to think of it, I think that Rockwell has been there a very, very long time. Maybe five, six months. I don't know. No, I'm kidding. I, it's been there a long time. It looks, it looks very old, very old. Of course, I'm not a Rockwell scientist, but I'm just saying it looks, looks pretty old. Brown Town is located just off of 649, and again, 649 is kind of at the foot of the Skyline Drive in Virginia, and this town is just really quaint. It's a just a tiny dot on the map, but you can tell the people here are warm, and it's just a real friendly area, and it's absolutely beautiful. Even on a rainy, dreary day like today, I mean, there's just beauty to be found in this part of Virginia. Being on these back roads, it's not just like being in the wilderness like back in Tennessee or North Carolina or even other parts of Virginia. It's almost like stepping back in time. I mean, these rock walls are amazing and this entire farm is sectioned off by these huge rock walls that look like they've been here for hundreds of years. What I find so amazing about this area is that you're just not that far from the cities. I mean, big cities like DC and other big cities in Virginia. And it, of course it's a corridor to the entire Northeast. So you're not that far away from huge metropolitan areas. And so I'm surprised a lot of this isn't bought up more than what it is. I mean, it's still, you still feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere. Now this area has been logged a lot. I mean, the most of the trees that we're looking at right now, they're less than 50 years old, but it's still, it has that look like it's just ancient. And and I would like to do more research just to find out a little bit about the land around us as far as how often it changes hands and things like that. I mean, I'm curious about that, but I don't know if anybody else would be. So I don't know what's up with all the stone walls. I know that Carol and I both adore stone walls. I mean, that's just, we love it. And it's crazy. And, it, and again, when I when I see a stone wall, I think of Robert Frost. And no, I'm not trying to be political, but still, if you know Robert Frost, you, you, you kind of know the background. Still, these side roads are pretty awesome. And the stone walls and the new homes mixed with the old, old, old homes, well, it's just pretty impressive. Mm -hmm. 